The Goods and Services Tax is a multi-stage destination-based tax law in India. It was introduced as a way to get rid of the many indirect taxes collected by the center and the state governments so that the country could move towards the goal of one nation, one tax. GST has replaced value added tax or VAT, excise duty and more to create a simpler single point taxation system. But how is GST different from the old taxation system? In the old system, tax was levied at every step of the way. The manufacturer, wholesaler, retailer and the consumer had to pay tax to complete the cycle. This led to confusion and often big hikes in prices of products. Many of us ended up paying tax on tax, also known as double taxation. With GST, a person has to pay tax only on the monetary value that is added to the product. For example, if a baker sells his cake for 150 rupees and a shopkeeper sells it for 200, the shopkeeper will pay a tax only on the 50 rupees. In the old tax regime, the shopkeeper would have to pay tax on the entire 200 rupees, making the cake way more expensive for us. The goal of a GST regime is to have uniform taxation for the whole nation. But since India has a large proportion of people living under the poverty line, many essential commodities are not taxed. Bureau Report, NDTV Profit.